Are you confused about the differences between the two estimator APIs in TensorFlow? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the distinctions between tf.estimator.estimator and tf.contrib.learn.estimator and why it matters for your projects. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when you want to use a familiar API, but things have changed. Many users have faced similar challenges, especially with the rapid evolution of TensorFlow. Let's look at the specific question at hand. One user recently asked, what is the difference between tf.estimator.estimator and tf.contrib.learn.estimator? They mentioned using the DNN Regressor API before and now want to understand which estimator to use for their new project. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what are the key differences? The tf.contrib.learn.estimator was part of an earlier version of TensorFlow, while tf.estimator.estimator is the updated version that provides more flexibility and better integration with TensorFlow's ecosystem. Understanding these differences will help you make the right choice for your project. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a tip that can help you transition smoothly between these two APIs. Yeah. To understand the difference between tf.estimator.estimator and tf.contrib.learn.estimator, the user should first note that tf.contrib.learn is part of an older version of TensorFlow. It has been deprecated in favor of the more robust tEstimator API. Next, the user should recognize that tf.estimator.estimator provides a more flexible and powerful framework for building machine learning models. It allows for custom model functions, which is essential for more control over the model architecture. Additionally, the user should be aware that the tf.estimator API includes improved support for distributed training and better integration with TensorFlow's ecosystem, making it the preferred choice for new projects. Finally, the user should consider that while both APIs may seem similar, the transition to tf.estimator is crucial for future-proofing their projects. They should start using tf.estimator.estimator for any new implementations. Fun fact, did you know that TensorFlow has evolved so much that some APIs have been deprecated? It's like watching your favorite TV show change its cast every season. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. A user points out that the TensorFlow documentation explicitly states that the tf.contrib.learn.estimator is deprecated and should not be used. They emphasize that while this is noted in the documentation, it isn't marked as deprecated in the code itself. Now, let's shift our focus to a different response. This user highlights the distinction between tf.estimator and tf.contrib.learn. They explain that the core API is stable and backward compatible, while contrib is more experimental and may change. For classes available in both, like estimator and DNN regressor, it's best to use the core version to avoid issues with deprecation. Let's take a moment to review another user's answer. One user points out that tf.estimator.estimator is considered a high-level interface and is the recommended option. In contrast, tf.contrib.learn.estimator is seen as less stable and has undergone significant changes over time. They highlight that using tf.contrib.learn allows for compatibility with scikit-learn, which is not possible with tf.estimator. Additionally, the requirements for the model function differ between the two, leading to potential confusion. Here's the tip I promised. If you're starting a new project, always opt for tf.estimator.estimator. It's the future of TensorFlow, and you'll benefit from ongoing support and updates. And there you have it. Now you know the differences between tf.estimator.estimator and tf.contrib.learn.estimator. Remember, choosing the right API can make a big difference in your project's success. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more insights and tips.